All right, I welcome you once more. I welcome you once more. This is your friend, your brother, your anchor under the awakening soul. And this is Immortal Dawn. And I appreciate you all for joining us. Uh, it's been raining in the divineness. It's been raining a lot. And we've been streaming so much so far from the highest, purest streams of the infinite. A divinity is streaming every second, and we are logged in, having access to what is sending the vibes of a new day. And you, as a humanity, that is always want to come and visit our channel, and we are so grateful to have you back. My name is Don Once More Immortal, and I am very pleased to say, receive this positive vibe from me. I release it to you consolidating every stress of your life you know taking hold of every part of you that is falling apart you know be in charge of that destiny great energy vibrations that will go in to uplift you again from that falling position from that disposition you are going to be repositioned on the Unto that your position, that that your point, the height you have desired. So everything you are going through now is gonna turn around to be in a good testimony for you. And I am here back to bring some good vibes to you because of the benefit of digging deep into the cloud of our existence. If you if you take your phone now, they will tell you about your Apple Cloud, your Google Cloud. It is a formless world. It is a state where there is no form. You are crying over 5G, but we are transitioning to 11G soon. Where things will, before you, exist. Well, you can see them, but that's a cloud. So, we will deal with these fundamental five principles of recalibration. Mental recalibration. Is excessively one of the my secret ingredients onto advancing my cause of uh, as, as a human. It is very prominent, very, very predentive, very important to every soul, every awakening personality. You don't need to play with it. You know, one of the things I have discovered is that people don't understand what it means to recalibrate, recalibrate your mind. It means fine-tuning, changing, up, updating the software, deleting some outdated softwares in your mindset, and changing the operating system, the way you see things, the way you process information, the way you relate with your world. Okay, you cannot use a 10th century solution to handle a 21st century problem. It doesn't work. So, what are the steps I need to take as a human to be able to get up to mental recalibration? I want to point out five points for you. And this point is that every day, each day, each day you wake up, begin with what matters most. Each day you wake up, take your time Evaluate all the content of your day. Begin with what matters more. This is a secret that all successful people, all men that have changed their world, have always applied and deployed, and it is empirically appropriate. If you are a flexible spirit, a flexible personality, learn to go for the matter that the the the, the one that matters most. Do you understand? The life we live is so frantic. It feels with accumulation. Every day you wake up, you have accumulated a lot. And when you wake up in the morning, you are so tired because the weight is much. You carry so much weight. Family, relationship, work, job, business, expositions projections, idea, concepts, how to move forward, 
transmuting your mind in diverse realms of your existence. It have never solved your problem. Here, go for what matters first. Second point, how do you understand what matters first? It is prioritization. Second point, when you align all the matters you feel they are taking the current place of your daily awakening moment prioritize them don't fail we used to say that an unprioritized life has already bought a ticket to be a failure because you will be taking care of the less important thing at the important moment you will be measuring on the minor you will be at the right places at the wrong time. Prioritize it. Save them. Scale them. Not the ones that are very much important. You need to take action on those ones first. This is empirical. Mind you, I'm not preaching religion. This is empirical. If you practice this, there is no way you will not make an achievement per day. After you have prioritized, all those tasks that you have you know bracketed you have put them in the class of the first class your first class matters and you prioritize them maybe they are 10 oh yeah these matters are very important I you have you have gone to select them as what matters most then you begin to prioritize them now one by one no matter how smart you are then after that you remind yourself of when you finish prioritizing them, you're going to seek opportunities to grow. <laughs> opportunities to grow. Listen, life does not respond to you as a function of your right. It does not take your wisdom to accumulate rich riches. But understanding cannot even give you much, much proudness. It's not, it's not about your proudness. Life does not respond to you. What you feel is your right. Life responds to you what you gain as a function of your negotiation. And negotiation is by the art of searching for opportunities. Uh, people will say that they are sometimes fortunate to become opportunists. You can be opportunist. Yeah, fine. But sometimes opportunity does not really come because somebody don't need to create it. You are the opportunity. Your world will always be beeping out. You will see the signals only when you prioritize them. Then you can find the opportunity. And after that, attend to the physical. This is very important. I'm bringing up this point because I practice it. And I always want to teach what I practice. You know, you got to be fit. Mentally and physically fit. Bring out time to work this out. Bring out time to take a walk around. Bring out time to scan through the planet of your mind and begin to work this out. Take a step. Go to gym. Do a physical walk. I choose a walk that is held bound. Sometimes I make up to 12,000 steps where I'm taking care of patients. You see, I just came back from work. And it is my persuasion to tell you this. Because I was on floor today. I'm taking a step, almost 11,000 steps. And that is a very serious work. And it has mastered my body. Be physical. Everything is not that spiritual. Be physical. Take a step. Walk around. Move around. Titrate your energies. Release the stress. And when you have taken time to take steps around, walk around, do some gym, carry some leaves, do some running, release the stress, keep your body all alive let the cells keep burning when you have done this surround yourself <laughs> with focus confident people surround yourself with focus and confident people don't deal with mediocre you're gonna also remain there don't deal with people who already crystallize you will know them avoid people who like to procrastinate they will influence you avoid people who like to use their, they use their mouth to handle matters but they don't take action avoid people who are always too inquisitive but yet they are not productive avoid people who think they know it all yet they are the most ignorant bunch of humanity Avoid people who always want to 
question your genuity. Avoid people who don't even like it when you bring ideas that are very prosperous. Avoid people who don't always trust your package. I mean, what you are, how you are, they don't always trust the, how fragile you are. You can bring forth an unspeakable ideology. Avoid such people. These five concept of following on how you are going to upgrade and recalibrate your mental state when you apply these five factors you come and thank me later you practice it share it with your brother share it also with your sister let them practice it i am immortal done an album sometimes i'll be giving it to you differently and this time it is in this package share this share it comment on it comment on it and please subscribe it is your work of subscription has been making us progressing so wide and large and it is so my privilege to say thank you for being here to support us this is awakening so and i'm signing off for now i am your brother and your friend always immortal done i'll see you next time